Oh, the perils of digital communication. I uh, need to address um, the whole brouhaha that's going on with uh, Demolition Ranch and myself and the whole hat controversy. Um, Matt did a video response to my video response, which in hindsight now is something I probably never should have done. I should have probably followed up on this and got more information. However, I'll tell you the story. I'll tell you how, how it happened on my end uh, and why this whole thing came about. Um, it was never my intention to uh, damage Matt or to start any sort of a drama. Uh, sometimes I lose sight of the fact that this medium is is really so intimate with my subscribers and back and forth and when i am doing content when i'm talking to you guys i mean i just almost imagine that you're here with me and and we're having a conversation and it's easy to let frustrations and aggravations slip and had i been in matt's position i would have really appreciated someone coming to me personally but again with that being said i'm not the person to say i want to speak to the manager you know so when i called and, and i spoke to someone and i get information i could only react with the information that i was given and that's what i expressed my frustration upon so to meredith and matt um i, I never um i do apologize if this has caused you problems uh but i wanted to share kind of what happened on my end of it so <clears throat> i've been getting a lot of emails and a lot of people really frustrated with me and and a lot of accusations of being unreasonable with this and I, I don't think that that was really the case. I think that we had, uh, I'm learning now that um, uh, Bunker was going through moving into a new building and you know, I, I get it, I get all that stuff, you know. So here's what happened on my end. So after, whole the, coro after the whole Corona thing, um, I think a lot of us are really keen on getting away from things that are made overseas in China. And, and I want, as I told you guys, I really wanted to do uh, an American made um, kind of a, a shooter style hat with the Velcro on it and all that. So uh, I, there were several companies that day I'd set aside a block of time to, uh, to reach out and see if I could get this done for you guys, get these hats going. And um, I heard got thousands of emails saying, hey, just call Bunker Branding. They'll take care of it. Matt's a good guy and, and he'll do this. And so that was on my list. So I called and I and I don't remember who I spoke with, but I spoke with a gentleman and and I, I, I don't even know if I told him who, you know, who I was. Maybe I, I don't really recall. But I um, said, uh, hey, I'm looking to, can you guys do this? I'm looking for a USA made hat and, and it's got, you know, I want it to have the Velcro and, and the embroidery and all this. And he told me, uh, we don't have anything like that, but let me see what I can source. Uh, so a couple days later, he emailed me, and this is going off my memory, I, I just think this is the way it was. He emailed me a couple days later with links to two hat manufacturers that I believe were USA made. And, and so I was going through their catalog and there wasn't anything really like what I was wanting. It was, they were just more standard hats and snapbacks and trucker hats, that sort of thing. So I, um, jumped online myself and I hadn't really done a ton of research on this to see if I could find a USA made tactical hat. I found a company uh, that could make what we wanted. Uh, I called them and spent about a half hour on the phone with them and the guy's like, yeah, no problem. We can do the embroidery, we can do everything, but we're not a fulfillment company. You know, we just, we're a big company that we manufacture and we'll, you know, we can send massive orders to someone, but we're not going to do any fulfillment. So I thought, well, this might work out really good. I can, I'll do all the artwork. I'll have all the hats made. You know, we'll do a big, we could do a big order or, or whatever. And, you know, maybe, uh, so what I was hoping was that I could call Bunker back, um, say, hey, I found this manufacturer that can do this USA, USA hats, pretty good price. Can you guys basically bring these guys on as a distributor and then they come to you and then you guys could do the fulfillment side of it for me. And, and then I was going to ask if they could maybe do the patches and, and, and that sort of thing. So when I called back my contact at Bunker, I said, uh, hey, I found this company. Uh, is this something you know, that we can do, uh, have them ship it and, and, and get these USA made hats? And I was thinking to myself, you know, probably that there would be other clients at Bunker that would like to have, you know, have a choice. USA made hats are, that's important to some people, not to others, because they're going to, obviously, they're going to cost more. Well, when the guy, uh, well, the guy, they gave me the price basically when I proposed this, you know, let's bring these, bring these in. He said, well, yeah, we could do that, but we're going to have to add $25 on top of that. And that's where, what I was speaking of, that was what the frustration that didn't seem, I didn't understand it. And I said, I, I don't, 
you know, I ask him, you know, can you clarify where does that, that that's going to make the hat too expensive? You know, if we're, if we're buying the hats for 10 and then there's 25 on top of that for the fulfillment service, you know, I, I tried to ask for explanation, you know, why is that, you know? And he said, well, basically, I'm going off of memory here was that this is not a normal vendor that we deal with. Um, if you want to deal with one of our other vendors um, you, you, know, you know, that are overseas hats, you know, we can make this happen. But to, for us to do this with this company, we're going to have to add 25 bucks on top of it. And that's, you know, and I, and I asked for clarification, you know, I tried to you know, ask him, you know, how do you justify this extra cost? You know, what, what is the service that's being offered? Because it just seemed, you know, I don't know the business, but it just seemed excessive. And and the thing I guess that frustrated me with is through the conversation and this whole process, he, I, I was getting the impression that he just didn't want to deal with it. He just wa wasn't really interested. And, and he just basically told me, we don't do USA made hats. So I got a lot of emails from guys saying, well, you're making this up. You know, Matt, Matt they do USA stuff. I don't know what they do. I don't know where they source stuff. Um, I'm just going off what I was told. So, and that was the end. That was the end of it. We hung up I'm like, well, that's, you know, I can't do that. You know, that's, that to me seemed to be unreasonable. So I got a call into Meredith. Um, she left me a voicemail on Friday. Um, I called back this morning and I haven't spoke to anyone there, but uh, her voicemail was full. So I, I expect um, uh, she'll call today. But I, you know, as far as me and I wasn't going to, you know, once I, this guy gave me this price that I thought was unreasonable. You know, everyone said, you, you should have talked to Matt. Well, I, you know, I don't know Matt. I don't uh, have any way of getting a hold of him. I, I did contact him and I, I dealt with this guy, I spoke with him twice on the phone and I had no reason to think that he wasn't uh, a rep, you know, representing the company um, adequately. So I just don't know. I, I just simply reacted off the information that I had. In hindsight, uh, I repent of that video. Um, I did not, was never, my intention to throw Matt under the bus. It was just, that was my experience and that's what happened. And I was just, I was trying to get you guys off my back because I was expressing, you know, I'm having trouble sourcing these hats and everything going on. I was getting email after email after email, just called Bunker Branding. Well, I did call Bunker Branding and that's what happened. And I told my side of the story. It was like a, an online video or yeah, a video review. Um, but again, had I been in Matt's place, I would, would love to, mistakes are made, you know, people, have miscommunications and um, um, sorry if that hurt your family or your business. It was not my intent. I would love nothing more than to be able to uh, work with Bunker and, and to get you guys a hat for a good price. If we could get a USA made one, that was always my goal. And, um, and I um, did, I don't want to start any controversy. So I'll own it. I'll own it. I should have, should have reached out a second time, should have followed up on this a little bit more, but that's what happened and uh, lesson learned. So thanks for watching. May God bless you and your families. Please keep us in your prayers and we'll see you guys on the next video.